Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag, and I have another unprogrammed episode for you guys. If you don't know about the unprogrammed episodes that we have, we want to give ourselves five minutes, talk about with anything within church technology, and then we leave the whole thing unedited. And for me, this is really great because it just allows us to be passionate with not the sake of having everything, every little detail, every word analyzed. And for me, that's a big deal because I do a lot of analyzing. So let's get into this one. There's a lot of ideas out there about growth hacking, life hacking, so I want to give you my own blog hack, but not for the sake of hacking in the sense of let's just kind of curtail some of the different things going on, but for me, it's this idea of trying to get the most out of my blog articles. I live life, my main job is not to be a blogger, it's not even in church technology, it's actually a counselor, and so I spend a lot of time in the counseling room. And then the next most important thing in my life is being a husband and dad. I spend a lot of time doing that. And for me, those two things are what take up most of my time. So how do I fit in all this blogging? How do I have time to create a video and edit it? And for me, it's this idea of doing a blog hack where I'm trying to get the most out of my creativity and yet everything still goes on the page. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of hacks out there. I know, I recognize everybody has their own approach to different things. So let me just say that this is mine. This is not one that necessarily will work for you but something you should try. And I think that that's how I got to this, is I tried all the different life hacks, blog hacks, efficiency hacks, however you want to talk about it, productivity hacks. And for me, one of the big ones that I really recognize that came to the one that I'm going to tell you about here in a second is, they talk about the idea of trying to make sure all your blogging is on one day, making sure that when you're not blogging, when it's not that one day that you are blogging, all the other times that you write down so that you can remember what it was you were talking about. I have a terrible memory as it is. I have a four month old that I have to get up in the middle of the night for and so I don't get a ton of sleep. And so my memory is just completely shot compared to what it was six months ago. And so this idea of just trying to be able to write things down, I thought, you know what, that's amazing. I need to do that. That's how I'm going to be successful within blogging. Didn't work for me. And so I'm like, I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. Still didn't work for me. And so I gave up on it for a little bit and this was probably four or five years ago when I had my own blog and someone else said, you know what, I'm going to try that. It really works for me. I love it. This has been the greatest thing in the world for me. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I was doing it wrong. I should try again. And so I went and tried this where I just spent one day, Saturday, Friday, whatever it was, and I just blogged, blogged, blogged. On those days I wasn't, I would try to write just a title, make sure it was kind of refined in the sense that I would, that would probably be the working title that I would go with. And then I would try to write again. And I just, the problem was, is that the creativity was there. I knew what it was that I wanted to write about. But for me, the thing that I lost in that, that six hours or that six days from idea to paper or to digital canvas is that I didn't have the passion anymore for me. And that's where it became very difficult. So for me, my blog hack, the way that I took this idea and, it, and adjusted it to myself is that I now write an, a title, an idea of what it is I want to go for, but then I also write the next two paragraphs completely unfiltered, just kind of throw it all out there. So the next time I actually go down to sit to write, whether it's a weekend or during my lunch break, that I actually have two paragraphs that I can read and you like, I'm back in that frame of mind, I have that passion again, this is what drove me to want to write about something like this. And it's there, and I can go for it, and for me, that is the one blog hack that I have that has changed how I do blogging. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. What is your one hack? That you, that it's not a whole strategy that you put around. That's not something I would say, that's the reason I blog. That's how I be so, so successful. But for me, that's how I can get through my specific kind of day. So I'd love to hear your guys' hacks that you have. That you can say, this is how I am able to be as successful as I am. Not the, not the foundation for what you do for blogging, but this is my one little trick that I use. So leave your guys' comments down below and we'll talk to you guys next time.